The conflict between China and Taiwan escalated after U.S. House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited the island last week. Now, Chinese President Xi Jinping is reportedly ordering his country's military to take a much more aggressive step, namely a blockade to seize the island by force. Security experts say Chinese military planners have long discussed a blockade of Taiwan, but until now it was likely that such a move was too provocative. However, following Pelosi's visit, China's military fired missiles over Taipei for the first time, flew waves of drones over islands off Taiwan's coast, sailed warships across the center line of the Taiwan Strait, and laid siege to the self-governing island. Taiwan's military calls this a blockade practice. The ability to enforce the blockade would give Beijing the leverage to bring Taiwan to the negotiating table during the conflict. Although the Taiwanese public, jaded by decades of Beijing's threats, appear unfazed, some observers say its military leaders may be concerned. Michael Chang, who managed the 1996 Taiwan Missile Crisis when he was Secretary General of Taiwan's National Security Council, told local media the drills could be a preview of a scenario for a Chinese invasion of Taipei. The United States and its allies such as Japan also condemned the exercise. Not wanting to make things worse, they didn't intervene directly to stop the blockade practice. Although China may have come one step closer to unilaterally claiming Taiwan, most experts don't believe war is imminent. Xi would be well aware of the risks of action, according to experts.